Right, Blair's gotten stuck. Blair, Blair is stuck. Blair, Blair has boxed herself in to the toilet. Great, thanks, Blair. Good morning, everyone. Dave from the Wee Hours here, back with some more Space Haven. Unreachable area, that's because you haven't built it yet. Our colonists are still alive. Everybody is surprised by that. I haven't killed anyone off yet. They're very fussy. They're very, very fussy colonists. Lately, they've been fussy about the fact that the toilet is out in the open. Every now and then I get a little bit of a pop-up saying that is not an optimal condition. I hear ya, Space Haven. I hear ya. Nobody kind of wants to go right next to the power generator. I get it. If you get the hull built, we might be able to help this situation along. Our next little task is start getting some food on our plates by building a kitchen module. And then I would imagine something to actually make food with. We've got our space food in storage here, which is still full, by the way. Hold the phone here. Um, Miles. Miles, come here. Come here, Miles. Do you have a gun? Do you have a gun yet? Uh, you do not. Okay. Miles, I need to draft you. We're going to go pull a gun out of storage for you, because that will at least free up a slot. And then I'll do that to the other, I believe, two people that don't have a weapon here. So you're going to open up storage, Miles, and you are going to take, I don't know, a shotgun. Why don't you have a shotgun? Seems like a perfectly sensible thing for you to have. And then you can be undrafted. Go about your business, Miles. Your business is standing in front of the storage container. Cool. Good. Right. Let me just equip everyone else. So everyone is currently armed, which is a good thing, I feel, in any sort of colony builder. Let's make sure that these morons have weapons. They'll probably shoot themselves in the foot, knowing my luck, but we're going to give it a shot. I want to address, while they're taking their sweet time to build the hull over here, I want to address the toilet. I want to come back to the toilet. The toilet is a vital part of this game, I feel. I feel I've underestimated the value of a toilet in space, so I want to address that. They keep flagging to me that they, well, don't like going out in the open. I want to see, we're a little tight on space, colonists. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? We're in space. We're tight on space. You see what I did there, Norbert? Were you paid it? Norbert? Norbert? Never mind. I think I could probably get some walls over in this sort of direction and then move the toilet. Like how far will you, okay, you won't let me put the wall that far, but you will let me put it this far. And then if I, ooh, how do I want this to go? What if we did it like that and that, and then that and that? Why are you saying building job not possible? What's your problem? Uh, resources are, yeah, okay, not enough build tools. Oh. Okay, are you people not making tools? Also, I can't put a piece of wall there because the light is technically in the way. Which is a fussy little part of Space Haven. I mean, I get it. It's just that, you know, in, in other colony builder type games, two things could occupy the same space. But I, I get where you're going there. Um, okay, how about if we did a wall, I guess, here... And here, it's going to be a weird bathroom, kids. I'm not going to lie. Let's get you a door, because this is the part that you're all fussy about. Nobody likes to have a door. I know. Go go make tools or get tools or whatever it is you people do around here. And then let's move the toilet, the space toilet, right here. Now, I would assume, and I can guarantee you, that's going to block that light from the rest of this room. So now it's going to be all dark here. So I should put up another light of some source. Remind me, is that life support? No. Power? Uh, no. Where, where, where does the thing live where we have lights? Is it furniture? It's furniture. Yay! Okay, let's put that up, say, I don't know, here? Is that a good spot for you guys? What's your tool issue, guys? Are you making tools? Norbert, what are you up to, man? Well, the tools container thingy is saying 415 building tools, but only 1.9 infra blocks. Okay, we may have run out of materials. Where are, which ones are the infra blocks? I would assume they're the ones that have 1.9. Now see, this is 44. Do you guys need to transfer stuff from storage to the tools facility? Because I see a lot of folks are just kind of hanging out, not really doing anything. Blair was out building the hull. Norbert, you were sitting around doing nothing. Are you getting things? Are you going to put them in the tool place? This is all very technical, I know. Blair, did you do a thing? 
Yeah, uh, no, you took some tools. You took some tools. Because that's a lower number. That's how numbers work, Dave. And now you're going to build things. Do you think the rest of you could get on with that? Let's look at your priorities again, guys. Come here. Come here. Come here. Um, I don't... I still... We had a lot of good comments in the first part of Space Haven. Thank you. Please keep them coming in. I don't understand why these blocks are empty for these colonists. Because I know they have a skill in construction. They can do it. I just, I'm not seeing why I can't click on this. But just for argument's sake, seeing as Blair's the only one who's doing anything around here, let's get Blair to be higher priority on construction. That's your job now, Blair. You build everything. Norbert's just going to watch you do it. And Miles is over here staring at the wall. Miles, you do a lot of staring at things, don't you? Miles, I'm going to try and make you do something. Because I, I don't, oh wait, you are doing something. Hang on, what were you doing? Oh, you pulled your gun out. Never mind. Don't, don't do that. Can I prioritize you to move this? I don't seem to be able to. Okay, go go back to what you were doing, which was broadly staring at things. Uh, less less valuable than I really need it to be, Miles. But uh, Blair's fine. Blair's got all of this under control. Blair is building everything. And nobody else is... What, which building job is not possible? The light? Why, why, why not? Uh, not enough build tools again. Okay. Okay, the kitchen may have to be back, Bernard, Norbert, and Wiles, because you're not doing anything, and I'm not 100% sure Deja has left the bedroom during the entire time I've been playing this. Well, just for giggles, I'm going to jack up priority on the tool thing to high and see if that helps anything. I don't... Again, I'm going to go back to this screen because I don't fully understand why... There is no skill in construction when I know everyone I brought on board has a skill in construction. Except you come up zero. Why is that? I would have... I'll have to go back and look at my own footage at this point. I would have sworn everyone I brought on had a skill in something. I possibly misread those screens and have actually chosen three out of the four colonists could be completely 100% useless. That would be so my style. That's on brand for this channel. And if that's the case, what else can you people do? Take Blair out of the equation. Blair is going to be very, very busy for a while. Deja, you could do some mining and logistics and botany. Okay, botany's probably going to come up sooner rather than later, Deja. That's good. Medical, you're good at that. We knew that. Actually, I think I knew that about Blair. But anyway, you can do it too, Deja. Um, Miles, you've got a degree of skill in medical. You can also do botany, and so can Norbert. So you guys are not going to do any construction or any maintenance. Blair absolutely, positively cannot die or even fall ill or take a nap under any circumstances because she has to build and maintain the entire space station. Okay. Super. Well, she's working on the hull right now. I'd actually prefer she came back in and moved the toilet, because I went to all the effort of building you sort of a private toilety area, knowing how important it is to you guys and gals, knowing how important it is. I did that for you. Unfortunately, the only one who can actually do that is Blair, and Blair's out in space right now in a tiny little sphere building a hull. I could just cancel that and then readdress it at another point. I probably got the space that I need. I mean, I do have the space that I need. But one of the things the commenter had said uh, in a very, very good comment, very lengthy and um, explanatory comment, that I will probably um, not do most of it because I'll forget about it. But um, they don't like basically living in a factory. So all of these production-y machines should be kept as far away and walled off and isolated from their living area. So I at least felt it's a good move that I gave them a private living area, that they can close a door and go to bed. Did I not put any lights in there for you? I didn't. Sorry about that, Norbert. You're just kind of standing around in the dark. I would love to set a light queued up for you, but Blair's the only one who's getting anything done around here. So you guys are kind of SOL on the light idea. Now, Miles is at least hauling things. I don't quite know what Miles is doing, but he's gone to storage. And he's moving what, Miles? What What is it that you... What, what, what would you say it is that you do around here, Miles? You took a box and you took it over to the pod. Does the pod need some sort of refueling? 
I imagine it probably does. Now you're taking... Oh, you're having a snack. Okay, fair. Fair. Um, in your pod inventory, there is nothing. I would assume this needs some sort of something to keep the pod going. I mean, that's just how pods work. And one of the other things the commenter had said was get the recycler going sooner rather than later. That's a key component that we don't have up and running right now. I do notice it releases heat and noise. It says enclose with walls and a spacesuit door to ensure a safe working environment. I have never guaranteed a safe working environment to any of my colony management games. I don't know why we need to start now, but I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot. So if we throw... Wow, that's a big piece of equipment there. That's super, super big. This is going to eat up my whole plan for the kitchen and growing area. But I'm going to put it down anyway, because it seems to be very, very important. So... Spacesuit door, fine, got that. How about, give me the old, good old-fashioned X1 wall. Everybody loves the X1 wall. Let's have that go like that, and then, I mean, how close can I make this to the wall? Well, the answer to that question is, how big is the spacesuit door? And where is, where do you go in? I assume you go in where the arrow is pointing, right? That would be my guess. Or do you come out where the arrow is pointing? I don't know. Well, you know what? I'm going to put it down here, here, and then hope that I did that right. And if I didn't do it right, that I get a pop-up telling me that I didn't do it right. I'm sure I probably will. That looks vaguely competent. It just depends on which way the arrows are supposed to go. Well, now that I know that no one will do squat except Blair, Blair, can I make you move the toilet? No, I don't seem to be able to do that. Okay, if there's a way to, you know, say, I I'm just going with, again, effective RimWorld logic of right-clicking and saying, hey, do this first. Please go do this right now. Now, you guys are up doing things for the walls. You don't mind building a bit of wall. I'm a little confused. I invite your comments. I mean, possibly they're just delivering materials for Blair to use. Because Blair is the only person who can build anything, it seems. I'm kind of keeping an eye on them to see if anybody builds anything except Blair. And I think the answer is no. They're just dropping off materials. Which is f good. I mean, that's one less thing Blair has to do. I'm actually shocked that storage is still full. After all this stuff that we've built. Well, there it is, I guess. Ah, Blair is finally moving the toilet. Finally moving the toilet. Good. Yeah, you guys haul all the bits of the toilet you just broke down. That sounds terrible. I should have just built you a brand new toilet. You're actually reusing a, a toilet. You took it apart to do it. I'm sure it's fine. It's completely hygienic. Everything's 100% fine. Stop panicking. Object not on power grid. Which one? Uh, that? Yeah, you're right. It isn't. I should correct that. Right, Blair's gotten stuck. Blair, Blair is stuck. Blair, Blair has boxed herself in to the toilet. Great. Thanks, Blair. Thanks. Appreciate that. Okay, can we demolish that, please? Uh, let's, let's see if we can get this taken down. Guys, we gotta take down this wall. Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall, please. Seriously, because Blair's stuck there. She's gonna starve to death. Okay, Blair's figured it out. Good. All right. Now Blair can hopefully get back to work. What I will do, I, I want to put up another section of wall here, but I fear, I fear, I'm going to well, I'm going to have to do it while nobody is in there and then hope Blair gets to that kind of lickety split. Okay, Blair, quickly, go build. Go build, Blair. Run. Run like the wind, Blair. Build the wall before somebody gets trapped in there, especially you, because you're the only one who does anything around here. Ah, you're building the airlock, Kuzi what's it? Good. Good. Did I... Blair, did I do that properly? Blair, you're the only one I trust around here. Ah, well, Blair can get in and out of the door, so that's encouraging. I, I think, hopefully, I've done the airlock correctly. She was able to go through the door, and then she can go out the door. Great. Super. Good job, Blair. Blair, could you deal with this wall over here before you or... So Blair, where are you going? Blair? Blair? Are you going... You're going out to build hull. Okay. You're, you're going out to build hull. Okay. Um, Did somebody build this thing? Uh, the, the thing that has the thing in it with the linking things? Yes, you did. Okay. Link over to there, please. That's one 
Very small problem addressed. Well, if these guys have got nothing to do, I may as well send them out for some mining. And we've got stuff over here. And I assume if I go tell them to mine this one time, they're going to take one piece of ice out of there. So then there will be seven out of eight pieces of ice remaining. Boy, not a lot of materials over here. You may as well go do something. Go get two bits of ice. And what was this again? Carbon. Yeah, I'm sure we really need that. Go get some of that as well. And then, you know what? You guys are just kicking around the base, doing nothing. Why don't you go work for a living? I was advised about the derelict ship here. Um, one, definitely go and do it. Two, at this stage of the game, probably don't sweat it too much because whatever enemies in there, you all oh, Blair. Blair. Come on, Blair. Right, uh, whatever enemies may be in there will be kind of scaled to your beginner phase here, and um, don't sweat it. It's It'll be fine. Go do that ship. You know, make sure everyone's armed, but basically go do that ship at some point. Certainly won't do that right now, because Blair's a little teensy tiny bit stuck. Blair, figure it out. Knock down the wall. I'll put a door there instead, because you people are so incompetent. You actually brick yourself into holes. I can't get Blair to demolish the wall, but I can get her to shoot it. So that that seems to be working out okay, I'm sure at some point. Yeah, there we go. H have I solved your problem, Blair? Uh, yeah, now you can get out. Okay. Okay, great. Good, good, good job, Blair. And at some point, Blair took time out of her busy game of hide-and-seek and built the recycler. So what can I do with this? I can get soft scrap. All right can be transformed to usable materials in a recycler, which is what we have right now. So if I had some soft scrap, I could put it in here and get a thing out of it. So soft scrap becomes soft blocks, right? We do those to, what do you mean no access to a tools facility? It's right there. Stop talking to me about that. Hull scrap, same kind of deal, and that would become hull blocks. All right, so scrap equals the blocks of the appropriate thing. I would assume I would want this on continuous, right? Can I set all of this up? Yeah. I just want, if you've got scrap, go, go do it. Don't, don't bother asking. Don't, you're, you're already incompetent enough as it is. The incompetent person might be the guy who hired three out of the four crew members to have no construction skill, but don't ask me about the recycler. If you've got what you need, you go get that. What's your problem right now? Insufficient resources. I know we just turned it on. Okay, Blair, this, this is the charm. Third time's the charm here. We're going to build a door, and then we're going to build a wall. So when you brick yourself in, you can get back out. Does the toilet need two doors? It does not. Does Blair need two doors? Clearly she does. Check it out, Blair. Now you can get out when you're done. Isn't that really exciting? So fully half of the episode has been moving the toilet. The space toilet, which is so vitally important. Rest of this, let me try and actually get something done, like building the kitchen. Now, I think I've done the recycler okay. It's in its own room. It doesn't need, as far as I know, oxygen or anything like that. You know what we don't have? We don't actually... I know there's a cabinet for spacesuits. And they're, they're like a spacesuit place where you put the spacesuity things. Spacesuit locker. That, that seems like exactly the sort of thing we need, although it seems to be... No, it's not quite the same thing as the spacesuit door. Okay, it looks very similar. Could I put it right there? Would, would that work? No, probably not. Um, let's tuck this guy. Where's your entrance point? How about we put that up there? Kind of keep that, I guess, centrally located. So if there's an emergency that requires a spacesuit, you guys could probably get on that. Now, now... Now that all that's done, I kind of need to expand the hull out a little more. How many hull blocks do I have? I mean, those are kicking around these days. Infra hull. I have 27. That's not no hull blocks. I'm going to put a little bit more hull out here. Like, say, that much. Maybe that much. Okay, that's good. That's not what I need, but it'll it'll get the job done anyway. So Blair, as usual, get on that when you get a chance. Uh, where are you going? Who who are you? What's your deal? Oh, you're Deja. You're coming back from from mining. Oh yeah, and you're you're unloading the materials, and these guys are loading it in. I should keep an eye on this storage. 
Yeah, that's already at 13 out of 50. We should keep an eye on that. Storage is a bit of a premium around here. So Space Haven's been out for, what, a few days now as I'm recording this, maybe a week. Is there some sort of contest for least efficient space toilet? Because I would like someone to nominate me for that. I would like someone to say, this is the stupidest space toilet ever. I mean, no one was surprised that it will go to me. I was destined to win that award. I'm just surprised at how long it took us to actually build that. What with the getting stuck in the wall problem there. I know I should have probably brought that tile out one more. I could still do that. But you know what? Ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I say. Well, good news. Blair has finished the hull without trapping herself somewhere. So what's it going to take to get this kitchen thing on board? Build a kitchen module. Okay. Uh, what is that? Facility? Is that like kitchen? There we go. Kitchen. Fairly self-explanatory. It's a kitchen, and it converts food into other food. How big is it? Not crazy, stupid, ridiculous big. I would like to see this over here. Great. Building not possible. Blair will figure it out. She'll probably need three or four attempts to get it right, but don't, don't worry. Blair will figure that out at some point. And I want to be clear, none of you colonists deserve this. Not one of you deserves this, but I'm going to give you an arcade machine. For no other reason than it might be playing Pac-Man. Now what? Grow bed with a light or grow bed, grow, 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 grow bed with a light. Okay, we'll, we'll work on that. That's fine. Uh, you're not on the power grid. Are, are you on the power grid at all? Are you even near the power grid? You're not even near the power grid. Okay, we're going to have to deal with some power issues here. So what if, could I get a wall node to live, say, he, no, eh, er, I prefer the, the floor nodes, if I'm honest, uh, and I am. In fact, I'd like to get that way up here because we'll probably expand that hull further. So I may as well get as much out of this as I can. Let's throw that guy right there. Now, what's it going to take for this grow bed nonsense here? Enclosed room with a CO2 generator. Okay, and a thermal regulator. Oh, super. Um, That's a lot of, that's a lot of stuff, guys. That's a lot of stuff to put in there. I already don't like where this is. I already want to move this. We're, we're moving this. Uh, we are moving this. Can we move this over here? I don't think they're going to like it if it's over here. What if we moved it... But this here, it's not, it's not my ideal, and we'll probably move stuff around later, but now that I see how much stuff is necessary to grow food, I need kind of a bigger space to do that. Miles is wicked happy. Miles is so happy about everything. Is it because you don't really work for a living, Miles? I mean, you haul some boxes around. I'm not saying that's not a valuable contribution, but Blair is basically doing everything. Speaking of Blair doing everything, how's the mining going, kids? Yeah, we are, we are mining. M mining is happening. Um, go get, I don't know, some of this. Uh, go get a bunch of that and go get some more of this stuff. And then go get some more ice, because that means water, and that's really got to be a good thing. Power not linked, that's fine. That's fine. We're going to work on that game. Don't worry. Don't you worry about that. I'm going to wait for them to kind of move all of this stuff out of here, and then we figure out how we set up a grow lab in space. Well, I think at this point, I better favor the smallest of the grow beds, which in and of itself is not that small. Is that really? Oh, that's smaller. How about this guy? Oh, that's teeny tiny. Oh, we're doing this one then. Uh, we're doing this one. I'll put the CO2 or CO or whatever it is we, we have around here. Um, the, the thing that's not oxygen over here. And then uh, there's space for the heating thing. Okay, this is not as massive as I thought it was going to be. I mean, that one's massive. But we can cope with this. Okay, we need a thermal regulator for the heat emit what sits, like actually having heat. And then the other thing, the... um. The, the, the thing, the CO producer, that's what we're talking about there. Uh, CO2, actually. CO would probably kill everyone in the, in, in, in the space station. But uh, go ahead and pop that there. In fact, actually, oh, wait, uh, don't. Can I cancel that? Can I cancel that? Uh, I, I want to cancel that. Yeah, cancel that, please. I want to actually tuck that more in the corner if we can. So go back to that and then without causing any pathing issues, go back to that. Yeah, okay, I'm kind of feeling this now. And let's start to get a wall going like this. 
so this place will be enclosed. And then the classic X1 door can live right there. I don't think anyone's going to wall themselves into this room with that setup. And I think pathing should be fine. I don't see any major problems with that. So that should be conquered. I'm waiting for everyone to, well, I say waiting for everyone. I'm waiting for Blair. That's what I'm waiting for. I'm waiting for Blair to do everything. And you guys just, you guys go out mining, which is, is valuable. But seriously, how did I get three people on board who can't build anything? Yes, yeah, storage is already half full. I'm gonna queue up another storage thing. I, th I think that would be a good idea. Just a, do I want a large, where would I put a large storage? I don't have space for a large storage. This is not a real thing that's going to happen, Dave. But I can get a small storage right next to the other small storage. I kind of even like the way that looks. Now, if you guys have got a kitchen who's even what's it here, you probably, probably are going to want some tables and chairs, aren't you? You're going to get really fussy about not having anywhere to eat. Okay, I'm going to, I'll plant a crop in a second game. I'm trying to actually make these people vaguely comfortable. This is where you guys live over here. Okay, this is like where you hang out and do things. Um, can I actually, now that I've said that out loud, can I get a wall? down there. Delete that blueprint for a sec. Uh, yeah, go, go, go away, Mr. Table. Come back to me, Mr. Table. If I tuck this here, what could I possibly get a wall down there? I'm trying to make sort of an isolated kitchen area, I guess. I might not be able to get all four chairs, but we're going to go with the classic X1 chair at least. All right, I'll move, I'll move the, the arcade machine. The arcade machine was a nice dream. Yeah, I, I can't do anything with chairs here. This has got to get moved uh, somewhere, anywhere. Move that. Can I actually get that? Nope, because the light is in the way, which is weird. Put that there. And then I don't really want to pull the... Maybe you guys are just going to have two chairs. You know what? You can only eat two at a time. Suck it up, cupcake. I can allegedly get a chair here, but I bet you, I bet you they're not going to be able to use the couch if I do that. I'm going to put it there anyway, and then when they move the arcade machine after after mealtime here, then I'll put another chair down. So three out of the four of you can eat at the table at the same time. You are actually playing Pac-Man or something. Okay, I need you to move it. Could you, could you just kick it over like a few feet there? It's for your own good. Okay, you know what? You only get two chairs then. I'm sick of you people. What I will give them is some more lights in here. It is very, very dark. I know that doesn't need a light in the room for the growing, but I'm going to go with the idea that like other colony builders, the, the colonists would want a light and they might work better if they have a light source. They don't want to work in the dark. I don't know if that's a real thing in Space Haven. It may or may not be, but I'm going to go with the assumption that it is. And if nothing else, it just helps me see what's going on. I'm, I'm old. My eyes are tired. Okay, let's grow some food around here. Ah, this only has one bed. Well, it is the very small one. It is the very, very small one. Um, grow vegetables. Yay, vegetables. Yeah, plant those, please. Root vegetables. That's what we're going for. Now, I know, I know some of you have a skill in botany. So, date, oh, no, 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 I'll, all right, I'll build a water purifier in a bit game. Uh, Deja, congratulations. Uh, you have skill one, skill two, skill two. Miles, congratulations, you are now Mr. Botanist. You are super botanist. Go botanize some things. Oh, bright and early the next morning, and they're all playing Space Invaders or Pac-Man or Galaga. I don't know. Th this is it. This is breakfast for them. Um, what are you jumping up and down for? I think you're doing cheerleading stuff. Blair? 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 Are you okay? Are you having a fit of some sort? You need medical attention. I've probably messed up their pathing in some way. Somebody's having a pathing issue. That's what that looks like. Okay, light numero uno. Did you just go grow vegetables? Are you doing that right now, Miles? Finally, Miles, you are getting something done around here. Good job. Now, I'm watching. I'm watching because I feel... Okay, thank you, Blair. I thought you were going to put yourself in the corner to build the arcade machine and then you were going to be stuck there. I don't think anyone can sit on the couch anymore. I think I've just basically unpathed all of the couch. But you know what? You get chairs instead. That being said, I can't really put the third chair down because then no one could get to the arcade machine. I should have just left the arcade machine exactly where it was. I still, the whole point of this exercise, the whole reason for moving all that stuff around, so I want to see if I can get a wall around 
all of the power generator in some format. Is that is that a real thing that can happen, Dave? Is that something you can make happen here? Can I get a wall in here? Yes. Okay. Let's start with that. And then I can't put it there because that'll, I mean, it won't completely block that off. They could get around. I can make that a door. I can make that a door. Okay. But then this storage thing probably won't count as a wall, I would guess. All right. We're going to have to do the best we can with what we've got here, kids because I don't have a heck of a lot of space. So you're going to have to learn to live with some of these ideas and concepts. And hopefully, if you all live long enough, we can make the base bigger later. And my goal is that they don't really want to deal with all of that nonsense. I did just wall off the thermal regulator. I just put the heat in the wrong place. You know what? We can move that. That can just get moved almost anywhere. Right there will be fine. I don't feel we need a lot of heat in the power generator room. Definitely not with the uh, oxygen generator. This this must produce some kind of heat, right? Uh, yeah, links, energy rods, things, words. Okay, it doesn't specifically say that it generates heat, but it's a power generator. I've got to feel it's generating some kind of heat. And they're not going to be in there, except to refuel things. So I think that's fine if there's not a heat source in there right now. Unreachable areas. Where? Show me. Yeah, no surprise. No kidding, Sparky. Yeah, the, the table is causing all sorts of issues here. The, the table is just messing everything up. Everyone's having a problem with this. Okay, let's move the table. You're not going to like it. Let's move the table out here. It, no, no, sorry, don't, don't dismantle it. Uh, just move it, please. Let's move the table out here. You can eat by the pods. If you are that fussy about pathing, you guys can eat by the pods. I don't care. You can eat wherever the heck you want, as far as I'm concerned. But I bet you're not going to like it very much. Wow, you move that really quickly. May as well move this back to where it used to live. And then, I don't know, I guess we'll put up a couple more chairs for you guys. Uh, give me furniture. Give me chairs. And let's make some chairs happen here. There. Now you can all eat as a group. Yay! And we have 16% carrots and potatoes right now. 16%. So food is being grown. What about the kitchen area? Do I need to set anything for you? Yet yeah, you can use any food that you want. Don't use monster meat right now. We haven't encountered those. We'll come back to that if everyone's still alive. So use any food you want. That's 100% fine. No jobs associated. And you have things in your inventory. Okay, you are making meals and we are growing food. And many things have been kind of walled off and separated and... I, it, oh, what is your problem? Yeah, no resources. I know we haven't done that bit yet, Space Haven. It's fine. It's fine. Do please keep me posted in the comments of, of the things I'm doing wrong and how I could possibly correct them. I don't pretend to, um, I, I don't pretend to believe that I will adhere to all of them, but I invite them anyway, and I, I do like to try. I, I'm having fun playing Space Haven, so I'd prefer people didn't die in the reasonably near future, but we'll call it on Space Haven for now, and we'll come back to some more of this next time. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, do please leave a like down below. That does cheer me up. No end when people do that. If you're new to the channel, maybe just checking it out for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Some more of this regular nonsense. Until then, I'm Dave. Thank you, as always, for joining me in the wee hours, and we'll see you next time. We embrace all religions here in Tropico, so long as the practitioners of that religion remember that we have a crocodile farm over here and that the fence is not crocodile proof. Okay. All right. Oh, God, a new incident. Um, childbirth. You know what? You know what, lady? Lady, we've been doing this for billions of years. Do you think you can handle this one by yourself, please? Just, you know what? Nature will get you through. Robot, how do we rescue you? I, I don't I don't know how to rescue you. I'm also not sure I ever knew you were a woman.